All right, ASTO T176 sat equivalent. Uh, you want your first sample size, representative sample size, you want to get 1,500 to 1,000 grams. Minus eight material. Make sure you brush all the fines off the aggregate and the screen. From that 1,000 to 1,500 grams of material, you are going to break that down to your working sample of 500 to 750 grams. Basically cut both of them in half. So from your 500 to 750 grams, there's two methods in which you can get your sample. You have the dry prep method and you have a wet prep method. For the dry prep method, you want to split down just enough material to slightly fill the tin to overflowing. So since we have 700, we can split that down in half. So hopefully this will give us slightly more than overflowing with the tin. Make sure the material is homogenous. Then as you fill this up with the corner of this, you will tap until just overflowing. Strike off, and that's how you obtain your dry prep method. All right, so that was the dry prep method. This is the wet prep method. In order to do the wet prep method, your material has to be in the proper moisture condition. To check and see if it's in the proper moisture condition, you want to grab a sample, squeeze it in your hand, and it should hold a cast. If it does not hold a cast, you want to add a few millimeters of water. Pour it in a bowl and cover 
with a damp cloth, making sure the cloth does not touch the material. This has to temper for a minimum of 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, you can check your material, squeeze it. If it holds a cast, you know it's in the proper condition. Once it's in the proper condition, put it on your tarp and grab it corner to corner. Roll the material. Get into a pile. And with one hand on one, on one side, you're going to take the tin, push it through the pile, and then apply pressure to put the maximum amount of material into the tin, and then strike off with your straight edge. So there's your two methods for obtaining your sample. And then to make this a referee method, the reference method, you will dry. Either way, you can take a dry prep or wet prep. You will dry this back in an oven at 230 plus or minus 9 until you reach constant mass. All right. So once you have your sample, either method, you are going to fill your cylinder up to the 4 inch plus or minus 0.1 inch line with your solution. Your solution has to be at a temperature of 72 plus or minus 5 degrees. All right, there's your four inches plus or minus 0.1. Put your funnel in, put your sample in. Make sure you tap the bo bottom to incorporate all your material to release any bubbles that are trapped. And then you are gonna let this sit for 10 minutes plus or minus one minute. After the 10 minutes plus or minus one minute period that is up, you stopper it and then release the bottom and then we're gonna put in the shaker. All right, after it was shaken for 45 seconds, plus or minus one second, you bring it back over here, and then you will begin to irrigate it. The whole thing you're trying to do is you're trying to get the fine suspended into the, into the air and separate the sand from the fine particles. All right, so you will irrigate wash some of the particles on the way down and with a twisting and stabbing motion you're going to get the fines into suspension and you will keep doing this until the level gets to the 15 inch mark once it gets to the you're going to keep it to the 15 inch mark and maintain that as you're withdrawing the irrigation tube inch mark, pull it out, and shut it off. And it should be between the 14.9 and 15, the meniscus. So the water wants to like rise up on the side, and the bottom of the meniscus is, would be the concave portion of the bubble is where you want it to be on the line. And then after that, you're going to have this, let this sit here for 20 minutes for the settling period, which is 20 minutes plus or minus 15 seconds. After the 15 minutes, after the 20 minutes, excuse me, 20 minutes plus or minus 15 seconds settling period, you will have your sample. And then you would check it. Your first reading is going to be the clay reading. You get at eye level. And I'm looking at 4.22. 2. 
If it's not on a line, you will go up and read it to the next higher line. So this will be read as 14.3. Once you get your clay reading, you will insert your weighted foot. The weighted foot, the distance from here to here is 10 inches. So you're going to be reading the top of this white marker right here. You're going to pull it forward and then whatever you read, and then you're going to subtract 10 inches from that from your reading. So you'll set this down in here. Let it sit. So it's resting on the sand. You pull it forward and you read 13.51. So that's gonna be rounded up to 13.6 minus 10. So 3.6 would be your sand reading. Please be sure to read all of the materials available in your Soils and Aggregate Technician Certification Workbook.